Today on the channel, like a young Larry Bird, we're balling with Slam Dunkin' Don Super 7 Ultimate Edition. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Edition Super 7 unboxing and review. And today on the channel we got Slam Dunkin' Don. But for all your Slam Dunkin' Don needs, make sure you're not Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. Order two of these turtles, bam, you got free shipping and 10% off. These are in stock at Entertainment Earth as we are filming this, or I'm filming this, I guess. You can also support the channel over at Super 7 when you check out at their store. Put in code Kyle P to support this very YouTube channel. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And now we're getting into some of the variant turtles from the old Playmates day. We did unbox Raphael in his space suit in the last wave. This wave, we got Slam Duncan Don, Donatello, like a young Muggsy Bogues is what I always thought of him as, or Tyrone as I know him as, uh, but looking good right there. Got Donatello on the front, the manhole cover looking nice. Nothing fun there. Turtles on the back, of course. Slip cover, slip it on out, slip kid, like a young who. Oh, there's a reference. Shout out to Roger Daltrey. Great guy, Roger. <laughs> there it is right there. Turtles logo at the bottom. Slam Dunkin' Don. Donatello right there with his tongue sticking out. Much like a young Michael Jordan back in the day. And it looks like they changed the number on the jersey. I might, I might be mistaken, but I think the original one had a 23 on the jersey. Probably had to skirt around that a little bit. Or I could be totally wrong. Very well could be. Who knows? Uh, you got the green brick across this. Of course, that signifies it is a good guy. Don, even in his basketball outfit, still a good guy. Still a good guy, but a threat on the court. A threat on the court, no doubt about it. We got the blur back there. Let's see what it says about old Slam Dunkin' Don on the back of the package. The hoop, hammer, and hard-shelled hero. Shoot and score with Slam Dunkin' Don. This half-court hardhead is a real three-point sharpshooter, like a young Craig Hodges. Uh, the guards are on a guard as Slam Dunkin' Don triple loops every slam and jam and layup. He's a backboard basher and a four-court fouler. Master of the pick and roll and jam and jump shot and the buzzer buster. Slam Dunkin' Don's got the magic and the moves to score against foot foul and scum. His tough playing gets well rewarded. MVP, mutant valuable player. Five years in a row. Oh my gosh, that's some next level uh, right there for old Slam Dunkin' Don. A true baller on and off the court. I hear, see you later. I heard he does pretty well with the ladies too. That's just what I hear when I keep my ears to the streets. And you know me, always keeping them ears close to the streets. You never know what might be going on. Backboard and a sewer manhole cover right there. And then we got old Donatello looking good, looking great, looking amazing. We're going to get him out of the package, of course, pop him out. We'll be back talking all things Slam Dunkin' Don. All right, we got Don out of the package here. Let's dive in. Let's start accessories first per the norm. And something I see right off the bat that I really do like is we got his hand, of course, all three fingers, almost like a I love you, brother, Superfly Jimmy Snooka hand. However, it's got a peg here to hold onto the basketball very, very good. Very smart to put that in there. After all, he's got to be slam dunk and he's got to hold the ball in his hand. So we do have that. We do got a finger point hand. This is for some trash talking. He'll sit there and sit somebody down like a young Isaiah Thomas versus Larry Bird back in the day. There'll be some trash talking going on with the finger pointing. What you going to do, brother hand, of course. And then two gripping hands here, of course, that you got to use with of course, the bow staff, Donatello's staff, one of uh, the iconic weapons of the Ninja Turtles, no doubt about it. Don't have to explain this with Donatello. Even got the purple wrapping around the wood. Makes all the sense in the world. That's Donatello at the end of the day. However, it gets really, really cool right here. It's build your own basketball court is what this turns into being. Now, you got the backboard, of course, all kinds of dings and dents. It looks like some serious street balling has been going on on this one right here. You do get a sturdy sewer manhole cover, but look what you do. You pop this right in like that and then well i forgot this part too but we do got the garbage can cut in half as the basketball rim kind of makes sense for what they're going for here not too far from old james naismith back in the day and uh wasn't it kansas where basketball was invented with like a peach basket or something uh, it's not too far from that not too far from that but you do plug that in the other side 
This comes together amazingly, and then you put the backboard right in there, like so, maybe. There we go, and you're ready to play. You're ready for some hooping. This also works as a shield, as you can put his hands through there and use this as a shield if you need to. So a very, very cool accessory set with this one, uh, no doubt. You can got to get all kinds of different stuff. You can have it as traditional weapons, or you can have it as a basketball court. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. Then the basketball feels nice and heavy, looks like a basketball. I don't know if you could really want more out of this than what we get right here. Looks good, feels good, plugs right into that hand very easily. Here for that basketball all day long. But now we dive into old Donatello here. Now we got two heads and we do got some goggles. Like a young Horace Grant is what he is like right here. But we got these yellow with uh, kind of a greenish yellow, I guess, uh, shade to the lenses there. Looking very, very nice though. But of course, basketballers always wearing those, especially on the street back in the day. Like white men can't jump or something like that. But then you get down to the heads, and man, this is the head you got to use all day long. This is what I'm here for. I love the tongue sticking out like a young Michael Jordan. Looks very, very good. Looks like Donatello, of course, but that pink tongue adds so much to this face. Really, really do like that, and I like the red lines in between the teeth as well. Looking very good. Now we get the second head here without the tongue hanging out. Very similar, but also uh, a little bit more matter this one looks. But if you're doing basketball stuff with him, you got to have this head on. There is no way around it. Absolutely beautiful. Love, love this head. Definitely my preferred head here. Now, he is number 84 on the Turtles team, as we see right there. Donatello, 84 on the back. He's even got some Reebok pumps, or were the Nike pumps? Or I think they both had something like that, but I guess Nike's had the pumps. But he's got some pump shoes going on. Got the turtle feet in the shoes looking really good. Got the T on the side instead of like a Nike logo or something. Or maybe British Knights. Oh, everybody loves a good pair of British Knights. Uh, but looking good. He does have some knee pads on, which look interesting. Shell there. I don't know what turtle he took for the shells for those knee pads, but looking interesting. Same thing with the elbow pads here. And then you got the purple... Uh, I guess sweatbands around the wrist. I guess that's what these would be here. And then we got the three fingers open. He's there. He's playing defense like my dad in the street ball. Just ready to go. Hands everywhere. He just can't get past the guy. And that's what we got with Donatello here as well. Arms going around on Donatello. Bicep cut. Single jointed elbow. Side to side. Hands back and forth. Up and down. Waist articulation. Non-existent on these turtles, of course. Does get a big old split going on there. Got the leg that goes up. Bend at the knee. Side to side at the knee. No ankles, but you do get up and down on the foot, of course. Peg hole, yep, we got a peg hole. Will he fit on a ringside Mattel stand? Oh, what do you know? Fits perfectly on there. Now, I've never been a huge, huge fan of these crossover turtle things. I remember as a kid seeing those, like, I'm good with just the core turtles. I don't need these uh, turtles in space, turtles on the basketball court, uh, turtle samurais, things like that. Wasn't for me as a little kid in the Playmates line, but there's something special and something fun about this Slam Dunk Don that I really do like. I don't know if it's just uh, as you get older, you like tongue-in-cheek things a little bit more. You see some Easter eggs to it, and you like the ingenuity of the whole thing. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but I do really like this one a heck of a lot more than I ever thought I would. So that is the hallmarks of a really good toy, I would say, at the end of the day, as we do say. Uh, I love the head sculpt on this one. Absolutely fantastic. Love the shoes. Love the accessories. Just a really a lot to like about this one. Feels really good in hand as well. Just a very, very fun Super 7 Turtle crossover, I guess. Uh, second job as a baller on the street court, I guess. That's what's going on. I don't know, but whatever it is and whatever the reasoning, I'm here for it in 2024. But are you here for it in 2024? What do you think of this one? A pick up, a pass, a long game, a no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. Yes, you heard it here and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, on Patreon. Patreon, your best way to support the channel. We got videos every single day over there, all kinds of bonus stuff as well. Check out the Patreon if you would like. And don't forget about ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Donatello and B-Ballers everywhere, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.